What's your sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I continue on with this video, I do want you guys to do me a huge favor, and that is to go down to where it says subscribe. There should be like a little bell there. Go ahead and click on that and turn on notifications if you're willing to get notifications every time I release a video, just so you guys don't miss out on them. And also, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then turn your notifications on. Anyways, moving on with today's video, I'm showing you guys how to lace up the NMD XR1. I did have a request on this video quite a few times. As you guys can see, this is a final product of how it's supposed to look, but I'm actually gonna work on the right shoe where they're not even laced up. So to start off, you do wanna have your laces like this. So basically put them from outside to inside on both sides and start off like that, as you guys can see. And then you wanna grab the lace on the outside of the foot. So on the right shoe, it'd be the right side. And if it's on the left shoe, you get the left side. But since I'm on the, it's the right shoe, you do wanna get this lace. Make sure it's flat all the way through, throw it around and then go from outside to inside and then pull it. Make sure the laces stay flat though so it has like that nice flat look. So you, just gotta, you might have to manipulate it a little bit. This is a little harder since I can't do it on my lap. But as you can see, it should look like that. And then just kind of like throw that lace out to that side, the same side. And then grab the other lace from the bottom hole. So in this case, the left one. And then you go do the same thing except to the right side or to the outside. You go from outside to inside and just pull all the way through. And you don't want to keep it tight, you want to just keep it like snug so you do have, so you don't have too much lace going through. And usually what I do is I get the tips of my shoelaces and I like, I pull it so they're even, so the shoelaces do stay even all the way through. Like as you can see it's not even yet, so I kind of like make it even and then just pull. And now if I let it go, they do stay even. And then for the next hole, you want to do the same exact thing. Once again, you grab them even, you see it's loose, just get it snug like that, and you're all set. And from there, you want to tie laces, so I'm going to like kind of turn around so you guys can see how I do it. All right, so you want to start off by getting the right lace going to the back, and then the left one stays in front. And then on the right one, since it is behind, you have to go around and under. And you want to pull that not too tight, give it some slack. So then obviously, you are going to have your first knot, how you tie your shoe, obviously. But there is a certain way to do this, so your shoelaces... I don't know if you guys have a problem, but sometimes when you tie them, the laces don't stay sideways. They like go at an angle or they go up and down. So in order to make them stay sideways, this is what you do. So you want to make the ear with the lace that's falling to the left. And then with the right, you want to come. Oh, it's going to be a little hard. And then with the right, you want to come forward and around and then push it through that little hole right there. And then just tie it. And your final result, you should have the laces hanging down like this, pretty nice. And your laces do stay sideways. You can shake it all you want, and they do remain sideways. That's why I like this technique a lot. If you end up going with the right lace to the back and then forward, then it will end up sideways like this. I mean, forward and backwards. And you don't want that, it just to have a nice look. So you want to have that nice bow look on the sides. And then if you want, you can adjust these laces on the ends to be even, to fall evenly or make the bunny ears evenly. I'm going to redo this myself because I couldn't do it really good since I was showing you guys. And usually a little tip with my shoelaces, I like them to fall down evenly to the same size. So usually I go like down to the midsole or all the way down to the sole and then they do crunch up again. Same thing on this side, I go all the way down to the midsole. And then with the bunny ears, I like to try to keep them as wide as only the laces. So like here, I try to keep them the same width. Because if it's too wide, it just looks kind of dumb. And that's basically how I lace my NMD star ones. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 1500 by the end of this year. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneakers sign now. Peace.